Hello and welcome to Malware Analysis for Hedgehog. I got a new microphone, um, but I still didn't get all of the equipment that I want to have. So for now, the microphone is on my desk, and I'm. You might hear the sound of the fan and uh, the typing of the keyboard is very loud. So sorry for that, but I figured I would still make a video despite not having everything in place yet. All right. Um, and I guess the uh, audio quality is already a bit better. Uh, this week we will be looking at macro malware and I got three samples here and I didn't look into them before I recorded this video. So let's be a bit surprised. Um, I downloaded Oli tools, um, which is a great collection of tools to analyze macro malware. And here are some of the tools, so Python scripts. So you need Python 2.7 for that. Um, all right, let's try this, open command here. And uh, I think the most important tool is Ole, Ole VBA because that will extract the macros of the, of the file, if there are any. So let me just drag some file in here. That's the one starting with 988. And so in order to see all of it, 988 log. All right. We put it into a log file. And now I suggest you set the language settings to Visual Basic. That will work here. And uh, now you can see the macro of this file. And you can already see that it's doing, well, I guess downloading something here that looks like part of an HTTP. Um, and well, I guess that's the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, that's the HTTP here. Uh, S, <laughs> safe pick dot su, and then the, well, I'm not sure which character this is, and uh, the rest of it. That's where it's downloading something from. So you might um, analyze the file that's downloaded this way. Okay, let's take a look at the other samples, okay? Um, so Python, early, VBA and the uh, 244 symbol, 244. No macros found, interesting. Well, we, we might take a look into this later. Maybe it's, uh, but it says it's an old file, okay. And, uh, And the missing one is the 4AD something. Okay, that's here. And there's another macro. All right. Now you all have all of the modules in, uh, in one place here. And the nice thing about this tool is in the end, you have a table with uh, the most relevant things that it found in there, like suspicious things uh, you might want to look at. And if you use minus minus decode, you can even decode any hex strings in here, which is nice. So you might just repeat that with, uh, with the minus minus decode option. Um, where's the button? I don't find it. <laughs> oh God. Okay, minus minus decode. And then, ah. And 
then that's the 480. Yes, please replace it. Yes, reload it. And there you see the strings now in the maybe decoded form, but it doesn't look very useful. It's the way it's here now. <laughs> okay, here, internet read file is base64. So it does, it does something. We don't know yet what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a stop function, and I guess it returns a string. Yeah, that's a string, and the stop function is used for these. For instance, for these variables, create objects. Stop with this. And this is that's it's decoding this. So, uh -huh. so let's let's decode this. All right. Um, I want to know what's what these mean. So I also need, I, well, that might also be some kind of key. And these are, I don't know, other values. So um, because this stop function takes two values, and usually one is a key and one is a, a string to decode or decrypt. OK, um, for that, I like to use Excel and create a new sheet and then you have to turn on the option for developing to for the to add a developers tab so let's see where that is oh, okay options i guess and customize ribbon there's a developer check mark okay and now we have a tab for developer so that means you can create macros and let's insert a button and um, view code. All right, now we got a code editor here and uh, we may use that for writing some or decrypting some things we found in here. Uh, for instance, this so let's copy this in here and this returns a string ah don't go go away with that um range so let's say a two value is that and the stop function is here all right i'm not sure if this works <laughs> let's just run it now Where's the sheet? Okay. There it is. This is design mode. I think. No, please. Please turn it off. Yeah. Enough oppresses compile error. So there's some mismatch. Oh, of course, I didn't set these values. Uh, which is kind of stupid. So the first one was this. And uh, 
the second one might be any of these, I guess. So just copy and paste them. And then there it is. Uh, that's a decoded string now. Scripting file system object. And it puts this up and uh, clicking on the button, it puts this into A2 of the worksheet. And um, you can do the same for the other strings you want to decode, which is quite nice. So um, let's put this into four and we copy this instead of the other one. And I guess those are worth looking at as well. Um, all right. And there is, there's a download for the file that it uh, downloads. That's a, a macro malware uh, downloader. So it will download this and then execute it. Interesting. Now these are still missing. Let's see where they are used. Also here, the stop function, of course, and here's also an open um, command. So uh, I believe that's indeed the way it is. And also the these functions, they, they tell you that there's some internet connection and uh, you are open. So, um, okay, let's also check these. I just override it. And this one. And run it. And there's the rest of it. I guess that's then the name for the dropped malware file. Or uh, maybe in the temp folder or somewhere. We could check the. Um, that's this one where it's used and that's here so hmm get special photos before that and that's the constant 2 and now you might have to look it up like um, that's a constant that stands maybe for temp or something similar so you have to look up the specification of get special folder on the internet to do that yeah um so that's actually it i act that's all i wanted to show you um how you can use excel to deobfuscate some macro malware and how you can use only tools to get the don't save to get the contained of VBA code. All right, then there was some, this one here, there was no macro found. I don't know what's up with it, um, but I told you I didn't look into them before. Maybe there is no macro. Could be that this is a clean file and I didn't. But that looks, that doesn't look clean, right? <laughs> okay, um, that, wow, like, the the evil is staring into my eye. I don't know what that is. So, uh, why it says it can't find any macros because it somehow has to execute that stuff. But just by seeing this, you will also realize um, even if you cannot extract anything from it using certain tools, um, it's worth opening in a hex editor and just to look into the file. And sometimes you might find macros in there. You can clearly see that there are some and sometimes they just might not be referenced or uh, something else is, is wrong so that the tools may be buggy. Uh, you never know. So usually um, you can see the code or parts of it that will kind of be Usually it's not that clear as it is here, um, but, but a bit weird. And 
but still you can you can make sense of out of it in the hex editor so okay um that's already everything for today uh i hope that next time the audio will be even better I'm not sure yet <laughs> okay um thank you for watching see you next week i hope so bye bye